Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Uh, oh, here he is. Hello. No, you're not getting up. You're, it's wet. You're muddy. Cheers. Finishing off a batch of walking sticks. Now, the first thing, whether you're going to varnish them or paint them or oil them, whatever, You've got to be able to hang them up so they don't get dirty and dusty and all that stuff. So, what I did is I found something as a spacer. Put a staple in. I'll put two in. Carefully measure out your bit of, uh, your bit of wire. So that's Three fingers there, three fingers there, that'll do. Put it through. Light wire is quite nice to work with. Give it a double or triple twist. And there you are, you're able to hang it up. Now before I varnish, uh oh, here it is. I gave him just a light sanding of 320 grit, just to take off some of the uh, tooth, what we call in uh, printmaking and, uh, and the paper industry, or watercolor or whatever, it's just the slight texture on the paper, in this case it's just slight texture on the timber. Then I give them a bit of a wipe down. Now I spilled my, uh, my varnish. All over the bench. This is why you have a nice uh, handy rag with some turps in it. And uh, just give it a light uh, light coating. This is uh, exterior grade varnish. Um, solvent is mineral turps and uh, a little bit of black paint. Now the funny thing is, the Irish blackthorn is not actually black. It's a reddish brown. You can wipe it down a little bit if you like, which I will be going along and wiping off any extra. So, this is Tasmanian dogwood. The first thing I do is I go along and check for drips. There's one, oh, a big one there. Try not to bump them because they're only hanging on little hooks. And, uh, oh, big drip there. Aha, I missed a spot. And, uh, gloves might have been a good idea. But anyway, too late for that. And this was the one for cleaning up, soaked in terps. So, because uh, I spilled it all over my bench, clever. And uh, I've decided this long walking staff, long walking staff, I'm going to tape off the deer antler because I don't want any of this uh, black varnish on the deer antler. So I'm going to leave this one for later. And I just go along and uh, we're getting a little bit sticky already. So uh, any air bubbles, whatever, you might want to wipe them down with a little bit of turps. And, uh, oh, lots of this one. A lot of bubbles. So I'm just going to go and wipe them down. And get it all over your fingers. <laughs> yeah, well.
and uh, that's one batch of uh, walking sticks that are nearly finished. I've got the rubber caps to uh, to put back on the ends, but I always cut them to length for the customer because there's no point in having having one that's too long or too short. Ooh, water bubbles, bubbly bubbly. And uh, this is going to take a while. I'll end up having to look over them very closely for dog hairs. I don't know where they would come from. And uh, anything else that might be in the finish. And um, I can always get another rag soaked in turps and give them another another wipe down. Right now they're starting to get a little bit a little bit sticky. So uh, the turp soap rag is probably going to be fairly important to finish off with. And uh, so I didn't have any sanding sealer. So that's why I use my varnish with uh, a bit of extra turps to thin it out a little bit and uh, let it soak in. They'll probably end up getting two, maybe three coats before I consider them finished. But uh, I'm pleased with the progress. Yeah, cheers. See you next time. Wayne's Weird Wool. Sticky fingers and everything. Yeah, cheers. Ugh. Grubby, grubby, grubby. Do not wear your best clothes.